25th, 26th, something like that. It is the last Sunday. It's Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter. Uh, yesterday we were supposed to be getting snow. I tried to come out here chisel plow. I just got the tack cable put in this hour log and hours, truthfully. And I put the chisel plow on, no duels, and went for it. I uh, gave up after about 15 feet. take a look at what's going on back here got them shined up finally I have this thing set as deep as it'll no no I don't do I yeah I do yep I got it set as deep as it'll go um, that's probably not helping me out but we're creating more soil surface area and I'm sure everybody in Texas and the Western Plains is gonna yell at me about wanting to get the ground to dry out well unfortunately I would ship water to you if I could. It'd be a great business plan. Ugh. Tear up some of this stuff before it gets too much growth on it. That's the one thing, this grass. That's that uh, rough stock blue stem grass we bailed for hay last May. As nice as it is to bale for hay, I'd much rather come out here and be able to get things planted instead of waiting on uh, getting the hay made. Feel the dirt. It's it's cool. It is, it's, uh, it is a chilly something. I don't have a thermometer out here, but it's nowhere near 50 degrees. So we got an earthworm. Someone's going to say, tillage hurts the soil. Hey, well, I mean, if I could effectively no-till on this ground, it's definitely a ever-present thought. Unfortunately, no one's gifted me with ground that could do that yet. Um, you know, this is brick-making ground. So we got to tear up our bricks, get them to dry out, get them to warm up. And we create these nice, like, see this whole, that, that's the whole point of the chisel plow is it fractures the soil. Well, this is a big, loose chunk of soil here, but it's still in place. And that's the goal, just to fracture the soil, the water will get down, it'll either drain out faster, and then with more surface area, it'll evaporate away. So 
So yes, yeah, so I guess we're say we're disturbing our cover crop because there is a good bit of green out here. Oh, purple dead nettle that hasn't quite taken off yet. The grass, another, another, have another educational moment. The grass out here, it's turning purple. It looks like pioneer corn in the spring. Uh, that's because we had some warm days um, before we harvested corn, and so things started to come out of their winter hibernation or winter dormancy. And then it got cold, and that's stressing the grass. So it's not happy about that. So that's why it looks like uh, you know the early springtime corn. You can see where I turned out yesterday. Cause I gave up all the farther I made it some of this these uh, you know dry soil chunks I started right here this is about as far as I got because this is where I pulled out and that was mud stuck in the tires but just today it's been windy mostly sunny a few clouds now but let's hop back in the tractor and uh, get some more action
this is one you don't see every day. I've got uh, that bell wagon hooked behind the chisel plow. It has a non-factory hitch on the back of it using that handy dandy ratchet that's in the cab. Hopefully it'll break it or bend it. We'll see what happens. I gotta have the chisel plow sitting really low. Uh, just don't have too much angle. Get it up in the air. Oh, come on, stupid piece of ground fail. That way I can get this out of my way. Here it is, that handy dandy ratchet. And this stuff. Yeah, some of those old free round bales that fell apart. Should be able to lift it up and get over it. I've had some good speed at times, got a few chunks of mud to stick with us and go for a ride. Well, I guess as the sun goes down, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, this has been the uh, very first chisel plowing of 2018. So happy farming, guys, and thanks for watching.